Stronger. And now, this is News Views, a newscast for Champaign-Urbana, Illinois, and the world. This is Bill Ratner speaking. And now, Michael Badger. I'm Michael Badger, and this is News View. The first story comes from WAND TV 17, the NBC affiliate in this market. And the story is in Danville, Illinois, a five year old boy is alive after a brave teenage lifeguard has saved him from drowning. Last Tuesday, 19-year-old Montana Schnoll rapidly swam across the Danville pool to grab a five-year-old boy from the bottom of the pool, says WAND. The Danville lifeguard says the boy wasn't breathing, so he, she performed CPR and saved him. Schnell says she has never done anything like this in her five years as a lifeguard and also says she never swam as fast as she did that day either. Schnell and five other young lifeguards worked together to rescue the boy. And according to WICD TV 15 in Champaign, the ABC, one of the ABC affiliates in this area, Danville police are investigating a shooting that happened in the 800 block of Moore Street around 3 a.m. the other night, Wednesday morning, that is. Police say the victim was shot in the foot while sitting in his car. He then got out of the car and heard two other shots but didn't see a suspect. He was then taken to Provena Hospital. And... According to WCIA TV3 in Champaign, the CBS affiliate here, convenience store owners might close up a shop that is the Home Run Food Mart in Urbana, Illinois. A recent run-in with police might be driving them out of business. Earlier in the month, the Home Run Food Mart in Urbana had its liquor license suspended as you may have heard here or elsewhere, this is according to WCIA I've got here now, police caught the owners selling drug paraphernalia, they say, and they had a chance Wednesday to get their liquor license back, but instead they voluntarily gave it up for good and are contemplating selling their store. But now some loyal customers say the store owners are being run out of town. Sinette Taylor says, quote, if Home Run has ever helped you, now is the time for you to help Home Run. And she also said, quote, please give your support at, at the city building, unquote. And... Um, as some of you may know, the city building is where we shoot news view. Taylor and dozens of others did exactly that, says Channel 3, and he, a hearing was scheduled to give Home Run Food Mart a chance to fight for its liquor license. And Mayor Laurel Pressing says, quote, before the hearing, the attorney for the business ordered, offered to surrender the license Unquote. The news shocked Taylor, and she feels the owners are bowing out because police purposely target their business and that their recent arrest only tells one side of their story. And you can see more about that at WCIA.com or um, that other name they call it. And according to... The Daily Caller at dailycaller.com, Marco Rubio is calling for Eric Holder to resign. This according to Alex Pappas at the Daily Caller. 
Florida Senator Marco Rubio told the Daily Caller Thursday that it's time for Attorney General Eric Holder to resign over the Fast and Furious scandal. During a breakfast for reporters organized by the Christian Science Monitor Thursday is when he said this. Rubio responded yes when asked if he agrees with presumptive GOP presidential nominee Mitt Romney and the five other U.S. senators who have called for Holder's resignation. Rubio said, quote, I think we are at the point of no return, end quote. And a House committee voted Wednesday to hold Holder in contempt for not turning over documents related to the program after the White House ex exerted executive privilege. And um, Matthew Boyle of the Daily Culver also contributed to that report, and you can see more about it online at the Daily Culver. And according to France 24, the International News Service, France 24 and AFP, Twitter was down momentarily t on Thursday. The very popular website went offline for many users anyway, prompting a, thir a flurry of complaints on rival sites. Twitter said in a statement, quote, users may be experiencing issues accessing Twitter, unquote. That did not stop some panicked users from launching complaints, such as this user who wrote on Tumblr, quote, Twitter's broke, my life has no meaning anymore, unquote. Another wrote, Twitter is down and my life is over. Twitter, which allows its members to post brief comments, links, or pictures, claims to have more than 140 million active users, with the largest number being in the United States. A recent survey found in one, that one in seven Americans go, who go online use Twitter and 8% do so every day. And uh, that would be a good lead-in to tell you my Twitter handle. You can follow me at NewsView Urbana. That's at NewsView Urbana on Twitter. We'll come back right after this break with more news views. Stay tuned for more news and some weather. Find out what the weather will be like this weekend probably on NewsView. Other news segment tonight, uh, according to showbiz411.com, Justin Bieber bombs on TV and isn't doing so great on the charts right now, according to showbiz411.com. According to Roger Friedman of, of um, showbiz411.com, Quote, Justin Bieber has been sold to us in forceful amounts, but maybe it's not working after all. His TV special last, the night before last on NBC uh, called All Around the World was a bust. For an 8 p.m. show aimed at preteens, it finished fourth out of five shows at that hour. Bieber got a very lackluster 0 0.9 rating in the 18 to 49 year old demo and scored just 33, I mean 3.3 million viewers. 
which is about the half half of the ratings number for So You Think You Can Dance on Fox. And the show was also beaten by CBS's new show, Dogs in the City. On the charts, Bieber also released a new album this week called Believe. On iTunes, it's number one, hands down. But on Amazon.com, Believe is struggling both digitally and in physical sales. Amazon has it doing best at number nine of all its different versions. But in reality, Believe is no knockout hit. HitsDailyDouble.com is claiming that Believe will end up around 410,000 copies for the week. That seems high given the impact is low and the reviews, if they mean anything, are not great. He also goes on to say, Indeed, Justin Bieber is starting to hit the Britney Spears trend. His original deluded fans are growing out of their age range and new fans are hard to come by. And this guy says he uh, has never understood how or why he was popular. He also says, at best, he's a YouTube creation using heavy dab of Michael Jackson and Justin Timberlake. And you can see more about that at showbiz411.com. And back to central Illinois, Champaign, Illinois, According to the Associated Press, who reports the News Gazette reported this, the case, first case of West Nile virus this year was found in a champagne bird. Uh, they also say uh, they also found in Cook County mosquitoes and birds in DePage and Cook Counties with the... Um, disease, West Nile virus. Also, the ash borer beetle has, sh beetle, the ash borer beetle has shown its ugly head in Champaign, Illinois. And um, so remember not to move your firewood. And um, in East Peoria, Illinois, a police chief was honored after serving in nearly every capacity during a 27-year career in Tazewell County Sheriff's Department. Dick Ganshaw said Tuesday he was humbled and honored to serve in a first-time role for him as the police chief in East Peoria. He says, quote, I am humble, absolutely humbled and honored but mostly I'm excited to be part of what the city of East Peoria is doing right now, unquote. Ganshaw said to reporters following Tuesday's city council meeting. The council voted five to nothing to hire Ganshaw, the former chief deputy in Tazewell County, to replace R.T. Finney, the former Champaign police chief who was hired on May 1st to temporarily fill the position that opened with the sudden retirement of police chief, Chief Ed Pappas. Pappas, who served as chief in East Peoria for 10 years, retired in the aftermath of a racial profiling investigation. This according to the Pekin Times, Day, the Pekin Daily Times at PekinTimes.com. And you can read more about that. That story is by Scott Hilliard. And according to Ian EWSPF.com, um, the first Illinois West Nile virus positive results for 2012 we're in the Champaign-Urbana area, and they collected a crow June 12th, with, which tested positive for West Nile virus. 
A bird collected in Cook County May 16th and mosquito batches collected May 17th and 18th in DuPage and Cook Counties were the first West Nile virus positive specimens this year. And they say, quote, with hot weather forecasted for this week, we anticipate increased West Nile virus activity across the state, unquote. And they say the first West Nile virus positive results in 2011 were collected June 8th and included two birds from LaSalle County. Last year, 19 counties in Illinois reported a West Nile virus positive mosquito batch, bird, and or human case. A total of 34 Illinois residents contracted West Nile virus disease and three of those died. Three people died from the West Nile virus in Illinois. And, and from the Peoria Journal Star at pjstar.com, Illinois Tennis signs five-star recruit. In Champaign, Illinois, Illinois tennis coach Brad Dancer Monday announced the signing of five-star recruit Julian Childers of Chicago Heights Marian Catholic. Childers joins Jared Hillsieck and Brian Page and fellow five-star recruit Alex Jesse to round out business, tennis recruiting net, dot net's number six recruiting class in the nation. Julian comes from a good family and is highly motivated to grow as a student athlete, said Dancer. He is relatively inexperienced competitively, and we feel that in our training environment and with our schedule, he will blossom into a formidable athlete. Childers, a four-time Illinois High School Association state qualifier, is ranked 58th in the nation and 5th in Illinois by TennisRecruiting.net. He finished runner-up in singles at the 2012 IHSA state tournament. And um, that does it for news tonight on NewsView. Be sure to catch news view again uh tonight at midnight if you can or tell somebody who hasn't seen it tonight yet it's on at midnight and monday nights monday night we should be back at 10 30 and 1 a.m and i probably will not be doing a show next for next friday uh, but we'll have something here, maybe cartoons. Um, stay, stay tuned for weather right after this. And I'm Michael Badger with your News View weather forecast for Central Illinois. Friday night, tonight, mostly clear skies and low of 61 degrees. Saturday tomorrow, mostly sunny, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Saturday night, a low of 65 degrees. And for your Sunday, 88 degrees for your high and mostly sunny. Sunday night, partly cloudy with a low of 64 degrees. I'm Michael Badger, and this has been your News View Central Illinois weather forecast.